Hi, uh, Mike Zina here, and uh, some people uh, have asked me um, uh, to put together a jazz progression. These are folks who are, I guess, rock players and blues players. I was asked to do this by a buddy of mine named Stuart Alexander on, on Facebook here on Guitar Aficionados, and uh, he's a very, very good player himself, only he doesn't know it. He's put up some very good and some very instructive uh, uh, videos himself on how to play rock guitar and it's all related guitar is a great instrument but I put up some humble uh, jazz videos myself playing some jazz tunes um, and some people want to know how do you put together a jazz progression all right so why not go to the source which is the mother of them all a one six two five one progression Okay, that's you've heard it a million times. It's in a million jazz tunes. Um, it's everywhere and all the keys. Okay, one six two five one. All right, and uh, the one I'm going to illustrate is "Ladies a Tramp" in the key of C. It was written by Duke Ellington. Okay, it's great, still a great jazz standard tune. All right, here we go. I'm going to shorten it a little bit. Okay, standard um, one six two five one progression. Now, what does all that mean? Um, you all know your scales, hopefully. You all know your keys. That's what guitar is all about: is keys and chords and key centers. All right. Uh, every scale, like a C major scale, which is what we're talking about here, uh, has the tones C D E F G A uh, B, and then eight octaves C. All right. And um, every one of those uh, notes in the scale, the C scale, has a chord. Right? It's, that's called the harmonic scale. I'm sure a lot of you cats know all of this. But anyway, let's go over it. Um, first chord is C major. Second chord, which I'm playing now, is always a minor seventh chord, D minor seventh. Right? Third chord would be, again, another minor seventh chord. In this case, E minor seventh. The four chord is always a major chord. In this case, is F. You can use one of the major seventh families, or it's usually officially a major sixth. And the fifth would be a G dominant seventh, okay? A G seventh. Remember, there's a difference between major seventh and dominant seventh. And of course, the eighth chord, or rather the seventh, would be a diminished chord. In this case, a B diminished, okay? So that's what those numbers mean, all right? When somebody tells you we're going to play this in one six, it's in the key of F or key of C, and it's one six two five one. You know the chord progression is going to go in the key of C, C, A minor or A seventh. And in the case of ladies, a tramp, it's altered. The sixth is changed to a dominant seventh. Uh, to the two chord, which is a D minor seventh. To the five chord, which is a G seventh. To a C chord. All right, that's what it means. And um, in this case. Uh, in the ladies of tramp, there's also a turnaround or, or a modulation or a key change. This part, she doesn't bother with people she hates. I, I call that a key change. It, uh, it goes to a G minus seventh or C seventh, which is its, uh, its alternate dominant seventh chord from a minus seventh. Naturally resolving to the F, all right? And it turns around, the F goes to an F minus seventh 
which naturally resolves to the C. That's why the lady is a tramp, resolving to the C, to the 6, to the 5, to the 1, and out. All right? That's basically a jazz, your typical jazz progression. Okay? What you want to know, what you want to take further is, you want to study things like resolution, the theory of resolution. Um, basically, there was a lot of things going on in this tune, like 5 to 1 resolutions, the G7th, the 5th chord, resolving to the C, the 1 chord. Hear it? Like a gearbox, 4th into 5th into high gear, all right? a resolution, or a flat 2. Flat 2, meaning the, like in this particular case, the key of C would be a C sharp 7 or, or a D flat 7, resolving to the uh, resolving to the uh, the major chord or the one chord, okay? The resolution chord, like the fifth, the fourth, the sixth, wh whatever, one, six, two, five, one resolution, most chords that re are resolves are usually dominant chords, dominant seventh chords. If you don't know, major seventh and dominant seventh are two different worlds. A major seventh chord keeps the seventh note in that scale or in that chord in the natural position. In the case of a C major 7 chord, remember 1, 3, 5, 7 makes up a chord. So in the key of C, a C major 7 chord would be C, E, G, a B natural. A dominant 7th chord, which is, uh, you know, uh, where all your blue notes come from and everything like that, the dominant 7th chords and all their variations have the 7th flat of the half step, all right? So I hope that's helped a little bit. Um, again, ladies of tramp, Typical jazz progression, one, six, two, five, one. Found in a million tunes, in a million different keys. Again, study your, your keys, your cycle of fourths for your flat key, cycle of fifths for your sharp keys. Check out uh, Theory of Resolution. If, if you want me to do more on this kind of stuff, uh, let me know. I'd be glad to accommodate you. Who knows, maybe we'll do some online classes or something like that. Anyway, Mike Zinna out here. Enjoying my day off. I had a good time doing this. Thank you, Stuart. You're a very good motivational speaker. Bye-bye.